If you're a vocalist and you are sick of not putting out enough music because you want to start producing music on your own, what I'm going to do in this video is show you the exact framework that it takes to start producing your own music in 90 days. Now, the way I'm going to show you that's a lot different than what you're probably seeing is I'm actually going to show you the entire framework. The issue you're probably having right now is you're going on to YouTube and you're hoping to find all the answers. The problem is the information on YouTube isn't that organized. But what I want to do is I want to show you the exact blueprint to go from not knowing how to produce your own music to fully producing professional sounding songs, making the beat, mixing, mastering, and everything in just 90 days. And by the way, it's completely not your fault if you're having trouble learning how to produce music. A lot of people think that you can just produce music and learn how to do it by just going on YouTube. You totally can. The problem is it's going to take you a long time and you're not going to know exactly what kind of software to use. You're not going to know exact techniques that you need to do. Basically, you don't know what you don't know. So I want to make this video to kind of lay out the entire thing to make it a lot easier for for you. And I know that it can seem really scary and I know it can seem like a really big task to try to learn how to produce your own music, but don't worry, it's not. After this video, hopefully you're going to have a lot more clarity on how to do it and how to fully produce your own professional music faster. So don't worry about what other people say. Don't listen to people who say that you should just stick to being a vocalist. Don't listen to people who say leave producing to producers. You can learn how to make beats mix and master at a professional level in just 90 days. So my name is Lizzie the Gifted. I've been doing music going on 13 years, been producing music for five years, and I've released over 50 songs that are fully produced by me in the last five years. I'm able to create my own songs whenever I want. I can basically wake up, come to my studio here at the house and make an entire song all by myself. Currently, I'm also attracting 10 new fans per week that actually become customers. That means they actually buy CDs. It's kind of crazy. Also, when it comes to the whole Spotify thing, I'm actually starting to grow okay on Spotify. I've kind of started to figure out things there in that regard as well. In short, I'm in the trenches right there with you as a self-producing artist, so I just want to help as much as I possibly can. Five years ago, I was only a vocalist, and I decided that I needed to start producing my own music. I had a couple of homies I was working with, but they were taking a little bit too long to get my songs done. I could tell they just weren't prioritizing my music, which was totally fair. But that didn't mean that I didn't want to keep putting out songs. I was also getting big beat packs that were really cheap. I was going on beat stars to buy beats as well, but I was only spending like $30, $40. I realized that I didn't want to start putting out music if I wasn't able to own the music. It felt kind of weird the fact that I'd buy a beat for 30 bucks knowing that hundreds or maybe even thousands of other artists were using the exact same beat. Just didn't feel like I was at the level I wanted to be at. I had the epiphany that I wanted to start producing my own music. Five years later, I've put out over 50 songs and I've even gotten paid thousands of dollars to mix, master, and produce for other artists as well. So without further ado, let's get into the video. And of course, if the video gives you any value, like and subscribe to the channel. All right, so first thing, we're gonna just lay out the entire roadmap, which is basically how are we going to fully produce our own music in 90 days? So the first thing, month one is all just about gearing up. So what does that mean? Well, I personally recommend that you don't just rely on stock plugins. And I also don't recommend that you just do things as cheap as possible. What I would recommend you do is I'd recommend you get a Mac and I'm going to write the specs down here as well and explain to you what kind of Mac you should get. So I definitely recommend you get a Mac. You can get a desktop or a laptop, and I highly recommend that you get it with at least 32 gigabytes of RAM and 500 gigabytes to one terabyte of storage. When you're running things like Logic Pro X and maybe you run iMovie or some video editing software and whatnot, the files are gonna take up a lot of space and a lot of the other programs that we're gonna end up getting, like Logic Pro and a lot of the other VSTs and mixing plugins, they're gonna take up a lot of RAM, random access memory. That means that while your computer's running, it's able to basically run all of the software. This is just, storage is just how many files it can hold when the files that we have are gonna be really big. So I highly recommend you go get yourself a Mac, get it at least 32 gigabytes of RAM just to be safe, and get it at least 500 gigabytes to one terabyte. Now there is this one website that I would highly recommend, and I'll put it up on the screen, it's called eshop.macsales.com. It's where I got my computer, you'll get one way more affordable than going to buy it brand new from Apple. But I, I don't recommend that you get yourself a PC, nothing against PCs, but just trying to produce on a two, three, four, five, six hundred dollar PC is kinda gonna be hard to get the job done. You could probably still do it, but we wanna get ourselves not just producing music in 90 days, but producing high quality professional music in 90 days. So first things first, get yourself a computer just like this. The other thing you're gonna need is the proper software. I personally recommend you get Logic Pro X. If you currently don't have Logic Pro X, you can actually get a free 90 day trial of it. I think you can literally just go Google Logic Pro X free 90 day trial. 
The whole program costs $200. So all you have to do is get the free 90 day trial. And then all you have to do, save up 200 bucks over the next three months. You could probably do that. Next thing you're gonna need is headphones. Headphones are really, really, really easy to come by. Um, I would recommend, I can show you the ones that I use that I really like. So the ones I use are Audio Technica ATH M. 40X, M40X, it's it's these ones right here. I think they're like 150 bucks or 100 bucks. I know that might seem like a lot for some headphones and you can get away with Skull Candies or, you know, something else. Or you think, oh, I'll go get Beats by Dre. Beats by Dre are really, really bad headphones for mixing on, by the way. No offense to Dr. Dre, but they are not good headphones for that. Unless you go get the really expensive ones. For 150 bucks, these headphones are gonna do wonders for you. It's gonna help you with mixing and really, really hearing um, you know, it's just gonna help you, it's gonna get you higher quality mixes because you're gonna have higher quality hearing. Like you're literally gonna hear and have more clarity, that's the word. So, get yourself a great pair of headphones. And honestly, that's it. You can go get yourself a MIDI keyboard like the one I have here, which is called the uh, Alesis, Alesis V49. It was like 200 bucks. It's actually not necessary and I've actually made plenty of beats without even using my keyboard, so, you don't need it. You also don't need to get yourself a pair of speakers. If you wanna go ahead and drop the money on them, you can. I have the KRK Rocket 5s. Those are like the black and yellow ones or the white and yellow ones. They cost $600 for two of them, so 300 each, but you don't need them. You know, I actually don't even use my headphones all that, my speakers all that much. I actually do a lot of stuff in headphones, actually. The speakers are kind of more just for fun. So in terms of the actual gear, here's all you need. So you really only need three pieces of physical gear. You need a Mac, you gotta get headphones, and you need to get an external hard drive, which I'm gonna talk about now. Basically, an external hard drive is something you plug into your computer and it holds your files. It also backs up your computer anytime your computer crashes. One time my computer crashed and I lost all my files and I didn't back up my computer. I've had it happen to homies also. It's a super big pain. It's like, it's like one of the worst things that can happen to you. So make sure you get yourself an external hard drive. Also, obviously, you are gonna need to get yourself a microphone and an audio interface, but we're not gonna talk about that in this video because that's more for the recording. What I'll do is I'll make another video if you want talking about the exact recording setup that you need. Sweet, so that's all you need in terms of the physical gear. Now, in terms of the software, I'm gonna break some of that down as well. With Logic Pro, there's actually this thing that they have a stock sound library with like pianos and bass and stuff like that, and I actually highly recommend you get that. It's free, you just download it, it's part of Logic. So do that, get the stock sound library. But there's three things that I would recommend you get. Number one is called Splice. So Splice is basically a place where you can go get loops, sounds, drums, you can get them from famous people. I have tons of videos on my YouTube channel if you wanna go check those out on exact screen share videos of how to use Splice. You can also go to other YouTube tutorials. But Splice is super legit, it's a complete game changer and you can get drums and sounds from the most famous producers like Murda Beats, Sunny Digital, a lot of other people. I can't even begin to describe it. So Splice is amazing. All right, so the next thing you're gonna need to get is called Arcade by Output. $10 a month as well. Basically, Arcade is very similar to Splice. The difference is, instead of you basically dragging and dropping loops, you can literally hold your freaking finger on your keyboard and it makes notes. It basically has loops that are chopped up and pre-sampled for you. So it's, it's pretty freaking dope. You can also use Splice and Arcade together where you take Splice samples and put them into Arcade and basically make your own samples and it'll chop it up for you, it's pretty sick. All right, and the last one that I recommend is called the Unison MIDI Chord Pack. The Unison MIDI Chord Pack is only $47 one time, you don't pay it per month. One time, you don't pay it per month. So basically what it is is there's a difference between Wave and MIDI. Wave, which is what Splice and uh, Arcade mostly is, is where you basically take a file, drag and drop it, and boom, there's like, that's kinda it. So if you drag like a Splice thing, it's got a guitar, you can't really alter the notes that much. But with Unison MIDI Chord Pack, it's MIDI. So when you drag it into your DAW, which is Logic, it's gonna have the little individual notes. You can play it with any instrument and you can basically change the notes around. So it's pretty cool. So it's kinda like, if you get Unison MIDI Chord Pack, it's implementing music theory without actually knowing music theory. So it's pretty cool. Getting started, you get 47 bucks for the MIDI Chord Pack and these are $10 a month each. So 
47, 57. So you really are getting started $67 and you literally are like gonna start making some fire beats, fire melodies with just these softwares. So it's pretty cool. So those are pretty much the softwares that you need in terms of like making beats. Now, when it comes to mixing, I'm like really, like I use stock plugins for sure, but I'm not the biggest fan of like the videos that go how to mix with stock plugins because like why not just spend a little extra money and get really dope plugins. If we wanna be professional and we wanna get our songs to a million streams and we wanna like go platinum and like all that, why wouldn't we wanna make better music? So I'm gonna basically break down, um, I'm just gonna use black for this, but I'm gonna basically break down the plugins that you need for that. So the first one that's the biggest dif difference maker is called Sheps, pretty sure it's called Sheps 73 by Waves and it's like $30. So like Shep 73 by Waves is like super sick. It's like kind of like the common, it's, it's an EQ, but it's not just like the same one you see. It's got like dials and knobs and it's like really, really, really effective. This thing is like one of the big, this is for me, this was the biggest difference maker ever in my vocals. Like getting my vocals to sound clean, crispy, full, loud, but not like harsh. Shep 73, such a big difference maker. And for only $30, like, come on. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna write our grand total here. So, so far we've got $67 for the beat making, and then we've got $30 for Sheps. I'll save that. But we've got Sheps by Waves, okay? So that's, that's the first one. The next one you're gonna wanna get is called Auto-Tune Unlimited. So, as we all know, we all know what auto-tune is. We know that that's like the famous thing that T-Pain uses and Future uses and all that. But it's not just for that. But first of all, if you're doing any kind of pop, hip-hop, rap, anything like that, you're going to want to use auto-tune. Like even if it's just a little bit so that, you know, if you don't want your vocals to sound robotic and digitally, like you still want to sprinkle some auto-tune on your vocals. Like that's a no-brainer. Um, or if you want to go for that like little dirt, little baby sound, like obviously auto-tune, right? But... Auto-Tune Unlimited is not just that plugin. Auto-Tune Unlimited is actually a suite of like, I think it's like 10 or 12 or 15 different vocal plugins. Some of them have nothing to do with making your voice sound digital. My favorite one is called Avox Warm. It's a super dope plugin, makes your vocals sound saturated and warm. There's another one in there called Mic Mod, which can literally change your mic to model after a much more expensive microphone. So Auto-Tune Unlimited, it's $149 one payment, or it's $149 per year, or you could pay 25 bucks a month, which is what I do. But let's say you go with the 149. So we got Sheps, which is 30, and the Auto-Tune, which is 149. So that's about 180 so far for that. The other thing I would recommend you get is called the Fresh Air plugin, which is free. This one is free. And Fresh Air is basically gonna give your vocals the super crispy, like that's what's gonna make your vocals really pop out in the mix, and it's free. Uh, so, obviously no cost associated with that. The other one I would recommend is called Valhalla Supermassive, which is a uh, reverb, Valhalla Supermassive, which is also free. And this is a reverb. It's like one of the cleanest reverbs. A lot of producers swear by Valhalla Supermassive because it's like literally one of the cleanest reverbs in the game and it costs them nothing. It's like pretty crazy. So I know there's probably like, there's so many other plugins. Like there's a lot of other VSTs that I use that you could get, um, but you don't need them. I mean, the ones I just mentioned are really all you need. Once you have those, you're pretty much set in terms of mixing. So we've got 67 for the... Uh, beat making stuff, we got 180 for the mixing stuff, and then the last one, which is from mastering, is called Isotope Ozone 8. I'm sorry, Isotope Ozone 10. Not Isotope Ozone 8. Now one thing, I know earlier we talked about Splice.com and how it's $10 a month, but what they also have available is you can actually go there and do rent to own software, which means you can go, so Isotope Ozone is not made by Splice, it's, a, it's its own company, but you can, go through Splice and just pay $20 a month, which is what I'm doing, pay $20 a month and you have this Isotope Ozone 10 and it's for mastering. So mastering your music obviously is super important. 
If you don't know what mastering is, basically, once you get your song to sound clean, polished, and mixed, you need it to sound full and loud enough so it fills out every types of speakers, like your iPhone speakers, which we know everybody's really listening to music on the iPhone now, but then also car speakers, earbuds, headphones, etc. That's mastering. Right, that's really what's gonna help your music stand the test against all the other 60,000 songs uploaded per day to Spotify is mastering. And Isotope Ozone 10 is super, super, super dope for this. So basically, the, this is what you need, again, 20 bucks a month. So you're pretty much at a grand total of just 200 for that. So reviewing again, overall stuff, right? We're gonna include we're gonna say you already own a Mac. Like we're gonna assume you own a Mac. So I'm actually not gonna budget for that, but you've gotta get your beat making software. Let's say, and if you have a Mac, you probably already have Logic, so I'm not gonna put that either. Beats, $67. Mixing, we said it was 180. So overall, oops, my bad. You're spending $267. That's it. If you need headphones too, it's another 150. So you're at like 400 bucks. If you need Logic, that's 200. So another that's that's 600. So for less than a thousand dollars, you've got. Now this is obviously assuming you have a Mac, assuming you have Logic Pro. Mac's probably 1200. Logic's 200. That's 1400 plus six. Overall, 1800 dollars. 1800 if you don't have a Mac and if you don't have Logic, but overall you're gonna spend $1,800. Maybe 2K if you wanna get the headphones as well. $2,000 is not that much money to actually start fully producing your own music and having your own studio. But again, this is assuming you have Logic, you have a Mac, and you have already your vocal recording equipment. So let's move on. Month one was literally all of that, which is gearing up. So month two is Beats. Beats plus recording. Once you have Splice and Arcade, it's really easy to, oh, and the Unison MIDI chord pack, it's super easy to start making beats, like dumb, like super easy. Um, you know, it's, it's like, you'll see, like it's not AI, um, it's not AI at all, but it's super easy to start making beats. You don't need to know music theory. You don't need to have prior music production experience at all. Like if you just literally use Splice Arcade and Unison MIDI Core Pack, it's easy. And like, look, here's the deal. If you want extra help with this stuff, like really learning how to put all this stuff together, you can click below, book a call with me. Um, I do one-on-one -on -one mentorship if that's something you want to get into. But month two is literally just starting to make beats and record. And the key, make as many beats as possible. Like the key is like make as many beats as possible, play around with the stuff, get used to like how everything works. It's as simple as that. You can watch some of my YouTube tutorials on how to do stuff with Splice. It's dumb easy. It's super easy. So month two is basically where you're going to prioritize like, all right, I'm going to like essentially make a song. Like that's actually where month two really is. Like, like I said, beats and recording. So your goal is basically... Right, it is basically have a recorded song. Have a recorded song with the beat that you own that's fully arranged, that's it. Once you have all the gear though, like the whole month one is gonna be like where you need to get everything done. And honestly, it's probably only gonna take you like a week. Like if you have the money, like month one can be condensed into one week. But then it's like, get into the beats. Like make a beat, make a beat and force yourself to write to it. That's literally gonna be month two. And what do you think month three is gonna be? Mixing and mastering. Mixing and mastering is the hardest part if you really want me to be honest. Mixing is really the hardest part. So you probably wanna give yourself a solid four weeks. You've got your beat already made, you've already got your vocals sounding super dope, your song is banging but it ain't mixed. So give yourself a month to really get the mixing and mastering totally dialed in. But by the end of all of this, guys, like you literally have one, maybe even more, one or two songs completely fully produced by you that you're super into. You know what I mean? Like think about how powerful that is. Like you spent zero, well, you had to spend money to invest in the equipment, but the actual cost of the music, like you'll never have to spend money on making a song again. You'll never have to buy beats. You'll never have to go through mixing and mastering again. So, Look, in conclusion, 
you can totally start making your own music in 90 days. You can completely start to do it. It's totally possible. And look, if you want to start really learning how to do this stuff, if you feel like it's going to be too much for you to try to do this all on your own, then just click below and book a call with me. I do mentorship specifically to teach vocalists how to produce their own music. Um, it's not going to be easy. And the truth is, it's not cheap. And the other truth is, I don't... You know, um, I don't accept everybody. That's the truth. I don't take everybody. Um, I don't want to take everybody. I only want to work with a select few people that are like really serious about their music. But if you want to work with me one on one, like book a call, apply to work with me, freaking be ready to invest in yourself. Like be ready to get after it. If you have a Mac already and you have headphones and you have your recording equipment, you're a perfect fit for this program. You're a perfect fit for what I do. So, um, I'm not really into like hard selling. I'm not into like pushing people and like all that stuff. Like I really just want to work with people that are really ready to go. So if you want to really learn how to produce music in 90 days, um, book a call to work with me. And if this video gave you any value, drop a like, drop a comment below, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.